Recent data has shown us that geysers around Yellowstone are starting to increase, with live footage showing that they seem to be more active than usual. Swarms of earthquakes have still been hitting the region within the last few weeks, with local residents saying that the tremors seem to be on the increase. There's particularly been a lot of activity around Yellowstone Lake, with dozens of earthquakes not being reported on. However, we can see by seismic data that these earthquakes are still hitting Yellowstone. Yellowstone officials have openly admitted that magma is moving around the Yellowstone system. Researchers who have been watching the Yellowstone data have said that this year alone, there's been a lot of movement around the park in regards to magma flow. Ground fractures are opening up, and local residents have reported more earthquakes than normal. Something that was noticed a few months back was that a large dome uplift was found within the park, with amateur researchers putting forward their own ideas for why this was happening, with one theory being that a big pocket is possibly filling up with magma. Those who often watch the live cam said they picked up on the fact that a dome-shaped structure had appeared underneath the park, and in order to test this they collected several photographs from a few months back, and compared them to a few days ago saying that it clearly shows that something big is brewing beneath Yellowstone. Still, one of the most interesting things that has people talking is the comparisons of Old Faithful from a few months back, to ones that were taken a few days ago. I checked some of the live cameras from a few days ago, and compared them to live footage that was taken a few months back, and you can see that there appears to be something growing underneath Yellowstone. I added in some red lines and it's obvious that there's something going on. The red lines show the uplift underneath Old Faithful, and it appears to be getting bigger every month. Those that have seen the photographs have said that there's an obvious uplift going on beneath this area, but as online users have pointed out there's been no comments from the United States Geological Survey. This isn't a recent thing either. These images were compared over the last few months, you can definitely see that it's increased in size. Some have said this could have been created due to the amount of earthquakes that hit the region this year, while others said that the uplift could be increasing in size due to filling up with magma. It's hard to guess how much the land has increased by, but some have guessed that the areas may have risen by a few feet. Yellowstone activity in these types of discoveries have been a hot topic for a while now, mainly because if something did happen, Yellowstone would take out pretty much the whole of America. So when these discoveries are made, people will want to make sure that nothing is going to happen. The truth is that scientists and researchers can't predict when the Yellowstone supervolcano is going to erupt next. After the photographs of the uplift made the rounds, people started to give their opinions on what they thought it showed. One user said the following, the problem I have with this was there was a time earlier on in the year when the United States Geological Survey wasn't reporting on a lot of the earthquakes, and this was backed up by the seismographs that were provided by nearby sensors, and also people that live close to the region. The thing is this isn't just a theory, as firstly we have photographs, and secondly these are coming directly from the United States Geological Survey's website, so people can't even say that these aren't from a trusted source. End quote. Well, this user said the following. The Yellowstone activity seems to have come down in recent weeks, but this could be the calm before the storm. I wonder what all those earthquakes have done to the region. They must be having some kind of effect on Yellowstone, and I'd be interested to know if some of these earthquakes weren't being reported on for a reason. Let's just hope that nothing happens. End quote. A few months back, one local who lives close to Yellowstone said the following. You can definitely feel movement where I am. In fact, over the last few weeks myself, along with my neighbours, have felt the earthquakes that's been hitting Yellowstone. However, recently there's been big jerks all around the park. Some big earthquakes are hitting the region, and I'm a little worried about the big dome that's forming beneath the park. I'm hoping that this is normal but as of right now it hasn't been discussed by scientists or officials working at Yellowstone. Not sure if we need to be making plans to get out of here. End quote. 
As mentioned a while back, one of the reasons that people are talking about this dome is because it reminded them of the one that appeared on Mount St. Helens back in 1980. This bulge developed on the north side of Mount St. Helens as magma was pushed up within the peak. Local residents and others who have seen the images are hoping that something similar won't take place and hope that magma isn't filling up this region. Others have theorised that the earthquakes that are hitting Yellowstone are starting to take their toll and that the chamber of Yellowstone is starting to become brittle with there being an increase in gas outlets at the surface. When all of this activity was hitting the Yellowstone region the United States Geological Survey was not covering these topics with the data showing that the Yellowstone Lake was also hit by hundreds of earthquakes. Interestingly, a man who monitors this data said it's not right that some of this data has gone missing, and he thinks it's wrong that the United States Geological Survey isn't updating people about what's going on, and he's decided that he's going to take this matter to Congress and complain. One of the reasons he's given is that people deserve the right to know what's going on, and that it's obvious that certain data is not being reported on. Others followed on from this and said it's worrying that they haven't mentioned the dome that appears to be increasing beneath Yellowstone, saying that even if this is normal they should come forward and explain this, but because they haven't acknowledged this they've said that people are starting to worry. Not everyone though is concerned about the increased activity at Yellowstone, with them saying that for years swarms of earthquakes have been hitting the region and that nothing ever happens further saying that land masses around Yellowstone increase and decrease in size every year, and this is because of a number of different possibilities. So what do you make of the dome uplift that has been detected beneath Yellowstone? Do you think this is something we should be worrying about? And what do you think is causing this? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.